Howdy there, LibGDX crew. I have something interesting for you all to increase your productivity by several factors. You may have heard of hot swapping code before. This technique allows you to change aspects of your program while it's running. Imagine I'm deep into testing and notice a typo in my pause menu. Or I'm observing the AI in my game and I'm not happy with the speed it's moving at. Normally I'd have to stop the game, change the code, recompile, and spend all the time to get back to where I was to observe the behavior again. You don't have to do that. What you could do instead is run your game in debug mode. The steps differ with your choice of IDE, but we're going to use IntelliJ IDEA because it's the most compatible with the strategy. I'm going to open up one of my existing projects. You have to use the run configuration for this to work, not the Gradle commands. So let's make sure that works. Right click your desktop launcher and run. It fails. Edit the run configuration and select the assets folder. Save the configuration. It runs fine now. This time, click the debug button next to the run button. This mode allows you to make changes to your code. Let's do that. Just simply change the background color here. Change the text of this button. Go to Build, Build Project. It prompts me to ask if I want to reload the classes. Check Do Not Show to remove this annoying message. Success! Oh wait, the button label didn't update. For changes that don't occur every frame, it's helpful to assign a key to refresh your display. This is most relevant to UI. So in my render code, I'm going to put something like this. If F5 is pressed, dispose of the display and create it again. Whatever way that's relevant to how you do your UI. Let's debug again. Change the button code and build the project. Press F5 in the game. Congratulations! That was a simple change though. What if I want to do something more complicated like make a new method? This is what happens. Bummer, dude. The Oracle people don't support that. 
Fret not, friend. The solution is using a different JDK, a special one that uses DCEVM and HotSwap Agent to make the magic happen. Download the JDK 11 version from this GitHub page. The JDK 8 setup is actually more complicated. See the links in the description. Even though we're using JDK 11, we can keep our project source level as Java 6 or 8 or whatever archaic version you're forced to use. Unzip to a folder on your hard drive. Make sure it's easily accessible. Now go to File, Project Structure, Project. Click New, JDK, next to Project SDK. Select the folder for your HotSwap JDK. Click OK and refresh Gradle. Oh no! The code is broken! We have to change our Gradle wrapper properties. In the project window, go to Gradle, Wrapper, Gradle wrapper properties. Change the version to 4.10.3. Refresh Gradle again. Now we're back in business. It should work now. Hooray! That's all there is to it. You can read more about hot swapping on the hot swap agent page. I expect you all to improve your workflow by tenfold and produce more content. Do it! Join us on the libgdx discord for fast and friendly help if you have any questions. Toodles!